Welcome to the uh, weather update for Wednesday uh, for this weekend's race to Blair Gary. My name is Simon Dryden. We're just going to have a quick look. Um, if we look here on the chart that we've got in front of us, we can see this little bit of frontal cloud through here, which is going to be the low that should be through um, tomorrow. So we'll just go and have a look at that. And so you can see here on Thursday, you can see that round of low the clouds just move forward just in front of the pink line there and then you can see by Friday that uh, low that little frontal scheme is starting to move out and we're getting broadly into high pressure if we look on Saturday you can see that the, the high is now established over us and so that will give us fine weather for the weekend and so if we look across the weekend we can see that um, we're going to be in northerly flow for the weekend. The worst weekend. Saturday is looking um, light to moderate, and it'll just depend on how this weather system establishes itself, whether there'll be a lot of wind or not much. Currently, the models are disagreeing as to how much wind there is going to be, but as you can see, that there will be some wind. When we come to Sunday, you can see that we're in this closer isobar spacing, so probably a good 20 knot northerly to beat home to in the Lady Skippers race on Sunday. If we go and have a look at the satellite, um, the satellite reinforces again this cloud band that's coming through. This is today, this satellite, and so you can see the cloud band, and it's quite lucky that this little patch here behind, if that was further up that would bring very cold weather to Melbourne but as you can see that cloud's low and that um, low is slipping away the high is forcing it down lower so we're not going to have any trouble with that. So if we go now and have a look at the pre predict wind models uh, we'll just get rid of all my little drawings there and we'll start the course back up here and you can see it's the course straight down to Blegari and we'll just play the model and as you can see, it's showing westerlies and westerly, northwesterlies coming down. And the models are showing a fairly quick trip. And if we go and have a look at the tables and we look at the summary, the models um, are broadly in agreement, but the EMC model doesn't think there's going to be a much wind. So they're looking at for a 40 footer average speed of that sort of thing you can see in this model it's showing much lighter winds and maximum winds of 13 knots minimum winds around the six and seven and um, it's mostly reaching and running so no upwind well time at all except in this model so there we have the things are looking quite good um, and if we now go and have a look at Metai, and we have a look at Metai on Saturday, you can see the northwesterly it's showing there. And the interesting thing here is this model is showing the wind going nor more northerly. And during that change at 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., the northerly is lightening off. So Metai is showing some distinct lightning that you can see through the day. So as we get, oops, sorry, we just. Uh, change that as we go through the day you can see that the wind strength here is getting lighter and lighter and lighter um, just a quick look to Sunday and you can see in around the race time there that we have this um, 20 25 little bit down here and as we go through the day the wind doesn't get extreme but stays in that sort of 20 to 25 knots. So it's going to be a challenging day steering for the lady skippers. Um, so there you have the weather. Um, so it's going to be a great day Saturday. Um, really going to have a nice party and gentle sleeping conditions for Saturday night. And then uh, a bit more on the way home. So we'll update you as the week goes by. Hope you enjoyed my little uh, weather forecast here. I'll see you on the water on Saturday.